It feels like you're getting a little tap on the back of your head. It feels like a small knocking sensation. Um, it's not painful. And everyone cares about their memory, and we study how it works with the hope of trying to make it work better and people who have memory impairments due to conditions like brain damage and Alzheimer's disease and other similar sorts of problems. In the primary experiment there were 16 individuals who we tested. The majority of people in the study did show an improvement in memory. So we used their MRI to identify this memory related network of brain regions and we also test their memory at baseline. That is, we see, we see how many things can you remember over a period of time. These are the cards that we use uh, when we test subjects' memories. So we just show them a face, and then we say a common word. Town. And then after we um, show them every picture and say the word, Play. we then just show them the picture again and ask them to repeat back the word to us. The person comes into the laboratory every day for about 20 minutes and they get uh, what's called high frequency repetitive transcranial magnetic stimulation where it's this magnetic stimulator on the outside of their head uh, over the part of the brain that we want to stimulate and it fires rapid pulses of electromagnetic uh, stimulation which induces electrical activity in those superficial parts of their brain. Um, so we're giving them this uh, induced activity for this particular brain spot every day for about 20 minutes. They do that for five days straight. They again get a very similar MRI scan so that we can look at how their brain has changed over the course of stimulation and they also get another test of memory. At the current stage of development, this kind of technique is not a cure for any kind of brain or memory disorder. The real promise is that this way of thinking about targeting disorders of the brain or mind by stimulating parts of the brain specifically differs very much from sort of the general way of going about changing the mind, which is to administer drugs. So one of the advantages of this kind of way of going about things is that we might be able to more specifically target the exact regions that people have problems with as opposed to uh, showering the entire brain with a set of chemicals.